does God really love me or has he simply been paid off? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and also welcome if you are new. I'm so grateful to have you here. So my name is Aquia B and here on this channel I cover all things faith, lifestyle and beauty related and in today's video I'm going to be reacting to the second installment in the American Gospel series which is Christ Crucified and I'm going to be doing this in a similar format to the first reaction that I did in which I'll react to the trailer and then I'll do a review video afterwards. But before I get straight into this reaction I just want to quickly encourage you to leave a like down below on today's video and also comment something encouraging for another viewer that passes by and if you haven't already then please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I know a lot of people consistently watch and enjoy my content so please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and let's get straight into it. I'm concerned that people today don't know who God is. They do not know God because they've rejected Jesus Christ, the Son, and they stand condemned. Do you think that's respectful of other religions? Senator, I'm a Christian. <laughs> the message of the cross oh, is dear. foolishness to those who are perishing. Mm -hmm. You know, people say, like, when did you lose your faith? I'm like, it started 15 minutes after I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Immediately encountered stuff in Scripture that I was like, that makes no sense to me. It's a generation of people who were not taught Scripture and so they were pretty quick to throw it out. Mm -hmm. Christ died for our sins. How does that work exactly? Like by what cosmic mechanism does the death of Jesus take care of your personal sins? Jesus was volunteering to drink the cup of God's wrath. That turns God into some kind of like divine child abuser. Does God really love me or has he simply been paid off? The Bible is so helpful to us if we just read it, you know? Mm, yeah. We're going to read things that would solve a lot of sensibilities. Things. Did God kill Jesus? Yes. I don't think God killed Jesus. You cannot read the Gospels and think that. And how could that ever be That doesn't be make sense. Good news. Jesus is God, so this alarm bells. And alarm this is bells. the dilemma of the American pulpit. We've got a God of wrath versus a God of love. Mm. And I was watching a lot of my friends reject the Christianity they grew up with. If there is any other way to get around a fiery, eternal pit, why would we not be open to that idea? Mm. This creates a basis for what I'd call a natural religion and a universal religion. Like, why would you want to worship a God if you could imagine a better God? We are saved from God himself. Ooh! <laughs> that's not the God I worship. That's not the God of the Bible. When? If you could imagine a better God. <sighs> I, survey the I can't wait to watch this. This is the doctrine of Christianity. This is the doctrine that separates Christianity from every other religion in the world. Did Jesus go to the cross unwillingly? No. Wow. I definitely cannot wait to watch that and make sure to leave down below before I um, do my outro make sure to leave down below any suggestions for any um, any other documentaries like this or any other um, Christian programs or anything like that and I'll definitely make sure to check those out okay so that is the end of today's video I really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did then please make sure to let me know by leaving a like down below on today's video and also leaving a comment of something that you enjoyed from it and also if you haven't already then please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and I'll catch you in my next one stay blessed and bye